Hello and welcome to Daily Disney News. Now let's face it, we all love a good Disney villain. Whether they are extremely vain, scared of a crocodile, or especially good at expatuating, these characters all hold a special place in our hearts. And of course, as many of you will know, my favourite Disney character is a villain. It is the fabulous Cruella de Vil. Now, Cruella de Vil is a wonderful character and so imagine my surprise or my joy when I hear that Disney is planning to make a new live action adaptation of 101 Dalmatians entitled Cruella. Yes, this was announced yesterday and this movie is to be penned by Aline Brosh McKenna who is currently in, um, in the writer's seat for Disney's upcoming adaptation of Cinderella, directed by Kenneth Branagh. Now, of course, this is fantastic news for me, and I think for lots of other Disney fans, I am so excited for this. Now, um, let's look forward to next year. We do, of course, have the upcoming movie Maleficent, directed by Robert Strongberg and starring Angelina, Angelina Jolie in the title role. Now, do we see a trend here? We have Maleficent coming up next year few years time, looks like we're going to get in Cruella, and so is this a new franchise that Disney is starting, including their most famous Disney villains in the title role of the movies, and giving them a really well-deserved backstory. And this gives me very high hopes for the future. Who wouldn't want to go and see a movie entitled Ursula, Jafar, or Dr. Facilier? Now, many of you will be asking the question, did Disney not already make an adaptation of 101 Dalmatians? Yes, of course it did. We had the 1996 adaptation starring Glenn Close in the title role of Cruella. That movie was then followed in 2002 by the sequel 102 Dalmatians and Glenn Close also starred. Now the question will be to what extent is Glenn Close going to be involved in this movie if at all. Now we didn't have any details yesterday however this morning The Independent has reported that Glenn Close has been hired as producer for this movie and for me that is fantastic. Now I think that with Di Glenn Close being involved at Disney at the moment she's currently on hand, she's filming Guardians of the Galaxy for Marvel and so I have a feeling that possibly this is all Glenn Close's idea which is a fantastic thing because if that means this could possibly tie into those original movies that would be fantastic. Now, does this mean we're getting a younger, much younger version of Cruella, giving her a backstory that would lead into that, um, that fantastic character that Glenn Close portrayed in the 1996 movie? Or will this be set on a similar time? Will it, once again, tell that story with Pongo and Purdy and the puppies and all that great stuff that we know and love? Personally, I would really like it to be the younger version and we get to get a really good backstory on this fantastic character. Please give me your thoughts and also please let me know who you would like to play Cruella if it was going to be um, going to be a younger version or if they do go for the older version. For me that is slightly worrying as I see the 101 Dalmatians live action movies as amazing and I would really hate for them to be overshadowed by um, another Disney movie taking place in the same time period as that one. So who is going to follow on from Betty Lou Gerson, Susan Blakesley and Glenn Close, the three um, Disney um, kind of Cruella de Vils who um, have been um, portraying this character throughout the years and um, what are your thoughts on this movie? Of course I am extremely excited and I cannot wait to bring you more information on this as I get it. So that has been today's Daily Disney News. I am Joe Worthington aka Quellsville Coat and thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye.